Good morning, ESM. And welcome back to our summer themed week. Where we're talking about all the wicked cool things that you can do in the summertime. So today we're gonna to focus on probably one of the coolest things that like the US has to offer, like anywhere. Um, and as well as how we can help save these awesome monuments. But more on that after news and announcements. Ukraine had stopped fighting and evacuated more than 250 soldiers at a steel plant that was being signed by Russian soldiers. Ukraine, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that the evacuation was necessary to save the soldiers who have endured a month-long defense of the plant. 53 seriously wounded soldiers were taken to a medical institution in Novozak, a Ukrainian town east of Marupol, while another 211 went to Ale Alenfica through a humanitarian corridor. Tunnels under their Azdostovol steel plant function as shelters for hundreds of Ukrainian civilians and soldiers for several weeks as Russian forces launched air and ground attacks on it. The Ukrainian soldiers defending the steelworks repeatedly refused Russia's demands to lay down their arms and called for international assistance. A TikTok video that went viral showed a duck that ran a marathon. A duck began to ran, run along with runners at a marathon. The duck's name is Wrinkle, and she runs marathons everywhere. She has 4 million followers on TikTok, and her account shows her training and marathon runs. She even has her own special duck running shoes. At the end of this race, she got a cup of ice water in her own medal. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Join Something Better for a special Wednesday meeting after school in B43. They'll host a conversation about the two most recent mass shootings, one in Buffalo, New York, and the other in California. We'll unpack these events, discuss current affairs, and look for ways to make our world something better. Come and join us in B43 at 3.30 for an important discussion about racial violence in the USA. There will be a Take a Look at Teaching Club meeting today after school in room C4. Join the Google Classroom for more info. The classroom code is W4NXOEY. All are welcome. The class of 2024 is hosting a fundraiser at Sweet Frog today. Class officers will be handing out flyers. The sophomore class will get a 25% of the uh, fundraise. All right, and seniors, here's a chance for you to say thank you for, to a former teacher or staff member. Write a fist bump and we will send them for you. Please make sure that you put the building of the teacher is on, that they are in on the back of the fist bump. You can also win a fist bump prize just for writing a fist bump. Juniors, today is the last day to pre-request music. Scan the QR code on screen now and fill out the form. This closes at midnight tonight. No exceptions. So, what are these amazing American monuments I was talking about? They are the National and State Parks. <laughs> New York State alone has 180 state parks stretching from Long Island to Niagara Falls. The U.S. also has 423 national parks. Personally, I've been to eight state parks and nine national parks. Some of the most well-known national parks I've been to include the Grand Canyon, which you can see there, Alcatraz, Boston Harbor, <laughs> and the Statue of Liberty. And in terms of New York State Parks, the, the most well-known that I've been to are Green Lakes, the Erie Canal, Niagara Falls, and Clark's Reservation. And if you haven't been to any of these places, I highly recommend them all. If you want to, and if you want to find more national or state parks or just more information on them, visit nsp.gov. Uh, within these beautiful parks, however, comes a sad truth. But we'll talk more about that after weather. So today, we can expect some very nice clear skies, so you shouldn't have to worry about anything popping up in the late afternoon. Now, on to the degrees that we're going to have to deal with. Today, it's going to have a high 65 and a low of 50, which is going to be the coldest for this week. With Thursday immediately warming up, and as you can see, 
It's gonna go 70, 85, 90, which is getting back into that very, very warm May weather. So you can expect some good weather coming. But as you see right here, Monday and Tuesday next week are gonna drop down and get a bit colder. This whole month has been crazy, but some new warmer weather is coming with some clear skies. And with that, I'm Grayson with your weather. So, what is the sad truth hidden within these parks? Well, the sad truth is that unfortunately they are dying, and climate change is the main blame for it. From melting ice to rising sea levels and ecosystem alterations to invasive and diseased species. Now the biggest problem that the national parks are facing right now, like I said, is climate change. And climate change mostly is caused by the burning of fossil fuels. And when we burn those fossil fuels, they send the greenhouse gases out into the atmosphere and then they get trapped and so they stay in the Earth's atmosphere, like you see in this picture, and that slowly warms the Earth, which then causes glaciers to melt and temperatures to rise, which in turn causes sea levels to rise and ecosystems to change, which in turn causes all kinds of environmental and ecosystemic changes and abnormalities that, frankly, we don't want to deal with and probably can't survive. It's not all bad though, at least gas is cheap, so the fossil fuels we're burning aren't, you know, bad for the earth and expensive. Oh, what? Oh yeah, that's right, gas is expensive now too. Uh, there is sort of a positive side to it though, even though most of the blame for climate change goes to like the big companies and factories that are polluting and stuff like that, there are still little things that everyone can do daily, you know, simple things like biking or walking instead of driving, or not leaving your car idling, or like using mass public transport instead of driving yourself, and all sorts of stuff like that. The preservation of and protection of our national parks first started way back in 1916. Nowadays, they not only serve as tourist attractions and preservations, but also as a sort of living lab that shows us how climate change has really affected Earth without us on it. And what they're showing us isn't great. So these parks are pretty important, and also they're just really cool to look at, but not really to like you know go into and get involved in. Uh, speaking of cool to look at but not get involved in, uh, let's see what's going on over with sports. The Miami Heat beat the Boston Celtics 118 to 107 in game 1 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Jimmy Butler led the team in points with 41. U.S. soccer women's and men's national teams have agreed, have announced a historical bargaining agreement to close the gender pay gap and assure every player is paid equally. The collective bargaining agreement between U.S. soccer and the national team unions is the final step in cementing the policy of equal pay. Under new terms, the World Cup prize money will be pooled between the teams and split among all players and money made by U.S. soccer commercially and at events that will be shared equally as well. The unified basketball team won a close game against Nottingham 31-27 yesterday night. On Thursday, the Spartans have the senior night against CNS at 4. Boys tennis and upcoming. Boys tennis has a match at SUNY Cortland at 8. Boys girls golf teams have a match at JD at 30 at 3.30. Softball plays at full and at 4.30. And I'm Tanner with your sports. Well, hopefully you learned a little something today, and if not, then hopefully you really saw some cool pictures. So make sure you go out there and visit our national parks, and if you're feeling up to it, maybe look into how we can save them. And if you're interested in national parks, go to, like I said earlier, nsp.gov. Again, that's nsp.gov. Oh, and uh, another way that we could save energy is uh, you could turn off the lights when you're not using them. 